Hey there, fellow fish keepers. Get ready for some serious red neon rainbow fish sparring between males. It's uh, super cool. I had to uh, film it. These guys I've been looking for for about a year, and I ended up getting two different batches that just came out of quarantine. And uh, I've just added them together. And there's one mature female out of one batch and a, some more immature fish. And then there was four that were pretty much mature and have been spawning in this tank. They've usually been uh, breeding in the uh, java moss there. And uh, now I've just added them. And the, the one mature female has been feeding on brine shrimp for the last few weeks. So she's probably full of eggs. And uh, these more mature males um, have noticed her right away. So right away here, they're going to start chasing her down. And uh, yeah, they're pretty awesome. I've, I've never kept these guys before. And uh, like, if you look at that little male there, I don't know where he gets off having that long of a dorsal fin. His first dorsal fin is long. It almost looks like a little kind of a fairy type fish. Um, so they're pretty sweet. I, uh, you know, it was definitely worth the time trying to find these. Sorry about the lack of focus there, but uh, it was tough. You only have one opportunity when you first <laughs> introduce fish together and I had to make the most of it, but yeah, so it was like six or eight months before I could find um, enough uh, of these red neon rainbow fish, Pseudomogo luminatus, to make a bit of a spawning colony. Um, they uh, are just hard to find in, in our area. It seems like they're sold out right away. Some of the places that where I'd found them initially, they just totally didn't look very good. They either had ick or were in really rough shape. Um, so it wasn't worth getting them. You can see they just laid some eggs down in there. Uh, one of these days I, I may dig apart the moss or just see if uh, um, some of the eggs hatch out. I've got it set up to be a bit of a continuous uh, breeding tank. So I'm hoping I'll give it a few a month or a month and a half and see if uh, I start noticing fries. Otherwise, I'm going to have to move the, these guys over to a more bare tank with spawning mops. But give them a, give them a go at first because that would be the easiest way is just to pull out the odd fry and uh, raise it up. But uh, yeah, they were really tough to get. And I was fortunate enough to to find these guys at a couple of the shops in Edmonton or actually three different shops. I ended up getting one fish from Aqua Market. I got um, five from the Planted Aquarium and then I actually ended up getting the other four, the more mature fish from Pisces in Calgary. So it's been a while to to get these guys together, but it, it sure has been worth it. Uh, Watching them, these males spar is is awesome. I I've never kept these fish before, so it's uh, been quite an experience to uh, see how much they display and and uh, and just enjoy uh, their level of activity. The males are really quite impressive. I'm super impressed with with the couple that I've got here. And uh, there's a couple of other males that you don't see displaying very much yet, but they're pretty young. So uh, pretty soon this tank should be full of action. You can see other fish down in there. Looks like they're, oh, yeah, they're laying more eggs again there. And there's the guy with the, the big dorsal fin. Yeah, just really awesome. Super happy with, uh, being able to get these guys and hopefully I'll be able to raise them um, from the fry. It uh, doesn't sound like it's too tough, just a matter of getting uh, infusoria and, and 
for the first few weeks and then raising them up on uh, on brine shrimp afterwards. And uh, yeah, it should be super awesome and hopefully I've got lots of these little guys into the future. Anyways, thanks for checking out my awesome new fish. Happy fish keeping!